Hi everybody, this is Felix from the Nuclear Blast Facebook page again. Thanks to your questions we could do another great fan interview, this time with Winter Sun's Yari. Timo is talking to him about uh, his influences, what it is that had greatest impact on his writing music and all the music writing process and everything. It's pretty interesting, please have a look and enjoy. Hi, this is Timo for Nuclear Blast and I'm sitting here with Yari from Wintersun. Welcome Yari. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Thank you. Okay, as you know, you've asked a lot of questions and I'm going to ask them for you. First of all, Mark Recken wants to know. All right. I've noticed in every interview I've seen or whenever I hear someone talk about you, everyone goes through painstaking efforts to avoid attempting a pronunciation of your surname. So why don't you do us all a favor and just tell us how to pronounce Manpa? Manpa. 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 Yari Manpa. And Yari? Yari Manpa. Yari Manpa. Right. Okay, the first set of questions is about your influences. Influences yeah. in songwriting and so on. Joshua Landau wants to know, Yari, Yari is my all-time favorite guitarist and songwriter. Where do you come up with your ideas for new songs? Does it just come naturally, or do you actually sit down and compose? Sometimes uh, it comes just out of nowhere when I'm just noodling, noodling around with my guitar. But sometimes I just sit in front of the computer and start mm -hmm. just drawing uh, blobs in the uh, piano roll. Okay. And I, I can kind of uh, hear everything in my head, mm -hmm. how the melody should okay, go. Okay, so the ideas are already there and in record. Yeah, sometimes. Yes. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Okay, I hope this answers your question. Joshua. Vashma Dai. I hope this was pronounced correctly. He says, Sirius, how do you come up with such incredible music? What influences you and what gets you in the mood to compose? So this question focuses on how did you get into the mood? Well... You know, just life in general, but also, you know, other art like movies and, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, visual stuff, paintings and, you know, okay, cool. other bad art and just, I don't know, just also instruments, you know. Do you, do you also create in a uh, special atmosphere when you start composing? No, Perhaps. not really. You know, like... Drink a uh, glass of red wine? <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing, nothing like it. Like just cool. uh, sometimes... Uh, a new instrument. Mm -hmm. Like I, I just got a, a new Ibanez guitar, mm -hmm. RTD, and immediately I got inspired <laughs> and you know. Yeah, sometimes the instrument of inspires and new melodies. Right. Okay, cool. Next question, Mike Ratti. Who are your influences for guitar playing and singing? Uh, David Townsend, mm -hmm. James Hetfield, Sebastian Bach. Great mixture. The great ones. Yeah. <laughs> All the best. Um, a similar question says Jonathan Ke Kenyon, I think. I would like to know what bands have inspired you, Yari. Also, I'm interested in hearing how you wrote your first album. So, which well, bands inspire you? There's hundreds of bands. Uh, uh, in the early days, uh, lots of uh, bands like this section at mm -hmm. the gates. Great. Uh, Emperor, uh, but I don't know. Usually, I don't listen to that much metal anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you so listen to more classical music instead? No, more like dance music and rock and roll. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> really cool. So I don't know where the inspiration comes from. Okay. You know, uh, sometimes I wish I could uh, write just a simple melodies and simple songs, but somehow I just can't do. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that way it's much more interesting, I think. Yeah. Okay, James Jackson. Hi, James. With the first album being entirely written by you, with the help from Kai on the drums, how much influences, how much influence have Yuka and Timu had on the new album, if any at all? Well, basically, I wrote down everything myself mm -hmm. at, at the beginning, and uh, so there was really not much stuff that mm -hmm. you do, but you got, came out with some cool bass lines and then made a, a cool uh, kind of classical style guitar mm -hmm. part in the intro of the Way of the Fire. Okay, but there's not that much influence by other people? No, I usually I just, you know, do everything myself, mm -hmm. compose alone. Okay. So you're the mastermind. 
<laughs> I guess so. That's people though. Okay. Then, Mohamed Sabah wants to know what composers have influenced your orchestrating process. Well, maybe John Williams, mm -hmm. Hans Zimmer, um, you know, the soundtrack composers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so modern composers. Yeah, actually. yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. Alright, so your question, if he specifically is a fan of romantic composition, sorry, absolutely, you're not, speci you're not specifically a fan of romanticist composition, when you say mm -hmm. you like modern composition. Like composers. classical music, mm -hmm. yeah, of of course I I really love the old. Okay, yeah, Bach, Mozart. But you like classical and modern stuff. Yeah, okay. sure. So, Viljami Vesanto wants to know what gave you the inspiration for the lyrics on Star Child and Sadness and Hate. Epic songs, epic lyrics. Been wondering what's the story behind them. Uh, it's so long time ago. <laughs> I can't remember how I. Came up with those lyrics, it's just you know, visualizing all that the universe around us, the stars and space. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, for you, is space empty or is it filled? Sorry, is space really empty or is it full in your opinion? Space mm -hmm. around I never us. thought it like that. Perhaps you can write, write lyrics about this too sometime. Yeah, <laughs> and last year. Okay. One thing I oh, like sorry. The start side is also like, you know, creation and uh, also mm -hmm. about uh, creation of music. Okay. And creation of, you know, the world and the universe. All right. Cool. You know, because I think star chat is a is a term that people know around the world for people who are very enlightened. I think. Yeah. Did you think about this too? No. I, the lyrics? No, I actually haven't heard about that. Okay. Uh, when I was writing okay. the first album. Yeah, they say star children are people who, they get born enlightened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The song I is not about those stars. It's about that. Okay. <coughs> Lassi Salminen wants to know, who is your idol musician in Finnish metal scene? Although you don't listen to that much metal anymore, right? Well, Markus Toivon, of course. Mm -hmm. okay. so he's, he's been my, my friend forever. And uh, he's, he makes amazing Folk melodies. Cool. And also, tourists. Tourists. Yeah. Okay. So this should obviously great, great answer your question. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching the video and thank you for your questions in the first place. Please stay tuned for two more parts of the interview with Yari. We'll then talk about his upcoming album Time One, and we'll talk about more personal stuff and his future and everything. It's going to be pretty interesting, so stay tuned.